uh, measurement error. After the question answer session? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. So this is where we stopped just before the question and answer session, where we had mentioned that uh, there is a, a concept of intelligence, which is a theoretical interest. Uh, and then we have the solid line, which is our measure. And the difference between the two is the measurement. Now that is where we start. And I mentioned that when we are developing measures, we call them as standardized measures. What does this terminology mean? Standardized measures only mean that the kind of scales that we are going to develop, the rules of measurement are going to be clear. That means how we are going to measure, how we are going to capture this information is going to be clear for everybody. They will be practical to apply. That means you can actually administer these scales in a reasonable, feasible manner. Okay? And they are not very difficult for either the respondent or the administer, administrator to administer. That means the way you administer, the way you develop your scales, it's, they should not be very difficult for the respondents to answer. Otherwise, they will lead to a lot of uh, wrong answers, uh, people not filling the forms and, and that kind of thing. So a good properties of good standardized measures are, are some of these. And obviously they should not depend on administrator. That means I am a, a sincere administrator. So the kind of uh, data I will get is going to be different kind. Whereas if there is somebody else who is administering uh, they should, the, the administrator should not be able to change the results of the uh, survey. That means it should be as clear as possible uh, and, and so on. Tests should be administered the same way to all people. You should have clear rules, you should have clear definitions, you should have proper scales so that people, all kinds of people are able to answer it in the same manner and all examiners will score the same set of responses. Again, uh, just mentioning that we uh, are ensuring that people are consistent in the way they are going to score. Uh, they are going to respond to the scales, right? So ensure that all examiners will score the same set of responses. Then uh, this is uh, so. This is this was just a background of what are some of the rules that we will keep in mind. Rules of measurement will be clear. They will be practical and not demanding of the administrator and respondent. Because all our subsequent choices of how do we actually develop the measure are going to be dependent on this. And then uh, the whole idea of measurement, the whole idea of psychometrics is essentially whether we are able to operationalize, that means measure, create measures of constructs or concepts that actually reflects or mirrors the construct, right? And that is what we mean by this word valid, or you would have heard of this word validity, validity in in, uh, in social sciences or in measures of social uh, uh, sciences. So the idea of validity is accuracy, which I mentioned here that we are going to uh, develop accurate measures that measure the concept. So this is our idea of, of validity. Does the measure, does our measure measure the concept and Another idea that we will talk about is reliability, which is about consistency. So different scale items, whether they co-vary with each other and whether they are actually reliable in capturing the construct. That is what we do. And then I just gave you a brief introduction on the different kinds of uh, uh, scales, scaling that we can have. We can have categories, which is a good example is gender, ordinal scales, Likert, interval scales, temperatures, and 
is a good example and ratio where you have a meaningful zero length weight okay. and let me also mention that likert for a lot of purposes is also considered as an interval scale right let me stop here uh, we also have we are approaching our time for break and let me just take some of the questions that uh, that have come up so amrita mentions that uh, likert and semantic differential scales are interval scales so amrita and everybody as i mentioned yes when we are working we do all statistics that we typically do on interval scales on likert scales or semantic differential scales we'll come to what do we mean by semantic differential okay but typically uh, puristically speaking in a likert scale as i mentioned we cannot say that the difference between 1 and 2 is equal to difference between 3 and 4 is equal to difference between 4 and 5 that is something we cannot say for sure uh, difference between strongly disagree and strongly dis uh, strongly disagree and disagree may not be the same as agree and strongly agree so we can't really say for sure and therefore they are considered as ordinal scale having said that i am repeating we don't bother about this distinction in our research work and we do all these statistics on ordinal scales also ranking on basis of performance has equal intervals for instance first second third position in a race but you see lekha they will also be ordinal yes you are correct they will also be ordinal because we cannot say that the difference between first and second is the equal to the difference between second and third right is equal to the difference between third and fourth so they are actually all called as rank order they are all examples of rank ordering okay rank order right and so a lot of people can actually uh, talk about performing non parametric tests on right we will not get into this as of now but the yeah, that's the difference 